my name is Emily, and today is lesson number one on knot tying. We will be going over two simple knots that every fisherman needs to know. The first one is a very basic clinch knot, and the second one is a loop knot. It's a little more difficult, but you'll get the hang of it. Now let's take it over to Mike, and he'll be showing you how to tie them. Okay, so the first one we're going to cover today is called the clinch knot. Now I've heard this called a fisherman's twist, I've heard it called a fisherman's knot, I've heard it called quite a few different things. I'm using just some real thick uh, brown cotton twine. You wouldn't use this, but it, you can see the contrast better. So all you're going to do is take your tag in and put it through the eye of your hook, and then you wrap it around five or six times, and this depends on what pound test you're going to be using. And then you put the tag in through the hole you made at the eye and then back through this hole. You're usually going to wet it with saliva so it'll slide down easier. And I'm going to have to do that. And this is what your basic knot is going to look like. It's going to be a lot prettier when you uh, use regular monofilament or some sort of braid. Okay, I'm going to cut this knot off and I'm going to do it one more time. So we're going to cut it off one more time. All right. Take the tag end through the eye and around. Wrap twist one, two, three, four. I'm only going to do four this time. Last time I did too many because this isn't the right stuff. Back through the eye. And then back through the loop again. You wet with saliva and clinch it down. That's why it's called a clinch knot. Okay, the next one we're going to do is called a loop knot. And this knot is for uh, live bait. Anything that you want to have uh, a lot more movement with. So what you're going to do to start off the uh, loop knot is you're going to make a circle in your line just like this. So you have a circle right there. You're going to take your tag end, you're going to put it through the eye and then come on the other side. So this is right there. You're going to come through the other side through your loop and then you simply bring it around the line and back through. That's what your knot looks like. And then you cinch it down. So again, I have to use my mouth for this one probably. Hopefully we can get away with just pulling on it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Just pulling on it work. You wouldn't normally have a loop this big. You'd want it tighter to the thing, uh, to the eye of your hook, but you get the idea. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Go ahead and get out of this one. We're going to make our loop like so. We're going to take the tag end back on the other side, just like this, then wrap around just like so. Cinch it on down. I should have got more dull hooks. These things are stabbing me. <laughs> All right, cinch it on down. So you see what happens is your, your hook can move around a lot more. This is something you want to tie when you're doing a uh, you know, anything that you want to get a lot of action on. It could be a jig, could be a lure, could be anything, but that's how your loop knot works. Live bait, any sort of lure. But that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Let's get back over to Emily and find out what the next lesson is going to be about. Hi, the next lesson you'll be going over the Palomar, Palomar, Palomar knot. Yeah, Palomar that's good. Palomar knot and the dropper loop knot. Until then, bye.